Okay, this is a new vlog, but this time it's not an update on the channel, it's more of a, um, a rant, and this is regarding the um, Death Stranding Director's Cut trial, um, sorry, trial, and the Sackboy A Big Adventure on PlayStation 5. Now, for those who aren't aware, um, maybe some people would have, um, you would have heard it from the news, but me, I got it from an email. But um, they were offering a trial of both games, which for me is great on PS5. It's great, especially Death Stranding. I mean, it's a big game, obviously, the Direct Cut version of it. And obviously, they were supposed to be giving you a, a six hours of it. So, I'm trying to remember how big it was. I think it may have been, a bit, may have been about 69, 69 gigs, gigabytes, which is a lot. So, anyway, I started downloading that, and obviously, my internet isn't particularly kind of isn't particularly kind of very great so i started down downloading that and then and then on the queue i had um sackboy which i don't know how big that is so i started downloading those games so i was like really looking forward to um, trying out those games or see the ps5 version obviously the, on playstation 5. anyway they eventually downloaded so i thought right you know what let me check out the um the problems with obviously is unless there's any copyright because i remember watching playthroughs of Death Stranding that there were I heard rumours of copyright issues with the music in the, in, the, in, the, in the actual game so I checked it out, checked it out and lo and behold obviously there were pro problems with it and I thought was right maybe there's a obviously worst case scenario is that you'll just get demonetised for that video or wherever it plays it so I thought was right maybe there might be a way of um what's the word of um Wait, trying to cross this road. I thought maybe there might be a way of um, muting the in-game music because some games you can do that. Let's say like with FIFA, you can actually turn off the music, so any licensed music isn't isn't played or so forth. Or maybe you could skip it, and of course there wasn't. So that basically um, scrapped my idea of um, wanting to do like a, st a stream of the trial of the game. So I thought, of, right, you know what I'll do? I'll just play, I'll just play it in my own time. Same for Sackboy, because apparently Sackboy's got that same issue as well. Anyway, I go to click to go and um, play the games, and it just says, oh, um, your license for that game has it has it expired. So and then it just, just says press OK on Death Stranding. So I pressed it, and obviously it goes for you to go and sit there and pay for the actual game. So I thought, couldn't it work for life me what was going on? I thought maybe there was a problem with it. So. I go to the Sackboy game, the same problem. Life's expired, so I thought, what the hell's going on here? So it's trying to make me pay for the game. Anyway, I've gone on Twitter and I obviously typed in Death Stranding um, Trial. And then what you end up finding out is that you get the six hours, which is fine, but the actual countdown to how long you've got to play the game, it basically starts the minute that you start download, downloading the game. So. Basically, there were other people who, whose internet wasn't particularly kind of very quick. So basically, by the time they downloaded it or left it for a few hours to, to like download, they basically ended up, um, never ended up playing the game. And obviously this is the same problem with Sackboy where he had that issue as well. And I think that's, just, and to me, I don't know what, what Sony, Sony were, were, were thinking. I mean, I mean, I thought, I mean, I know I can understand that they want to find a way of limiting the game so that you don't give too much of the way. So it's a brand new game, especially if they're trying to do it as well. And then people can play it and then don't bother buying it. So I, so I get it. But what if they, and, but to, to, to start the countdown while you're actually downloading it, I mean, I've never even heard of it. And I'm some degree, I'm very disappointed in kind of Sony kind of doing it. And I, I doubt they're going to um, fix that because obviously. Did the trial for those particular games? You had to, um, up until the October the 28th to play and to try it again before obviously they took them off. And obviously it seems to be a new um, thing that they seem to be um, trying out in with their games, with, right, with their trials. But that's the most stupidest thing thing I've ever kind of heard of, really. And as I said before, I mean, if they were giving people the opportunity to try out these games, I mean, they're games which maybe ordinarily wouldn't have played, then maybe you would go out and buy it. I mean, that's a, I mean, that's pretty much a great idea. I mean, Nintendo do 
a similar um, thing with their games where um, obviously some, once in a while they give you a trial of their game like um, but like run it with Mario Tennis and one or two other games so that's, that's great but, but, you, but you're not but, but what they do is that you get given the trial I and mean, maybe they give it to you for maybe three or four days or sometimes even a week um, so you, you get to try the game I and mean, then after that I mean you can either buy the game and you can carry over the, pro the save process or you can start all over again and Nintendo get a lot of jokes because of people you know taking the mickey about how Nintendo's online service doesn't offer too much, especially with now they've added N64 and Mega Drive stroke Genesis games to they're gonna be added and then obviously there's gonna be a pain increase. So some people think, sit there and feel that it's not worth it, but then that's a discussion for another story. But I feel that with this, Nin, um, Nintendo have actually got it 100 percent right in the way they handle their trials and of their games. And Sony have, um, you know what I mean, have totally um, got it way 100 percent wrong and I know sometimes when there's enough uproar, Sony tend to tend to listen and change, um, you know, what they're doing with that particular thing. Like they were going to close the PS3 store, so uh, you, you're no longer able to buy PS3 online via the PS3. And then obviously a lot, there was a lot of uproar, and then Sony ended up backtracking, and they've done. And then obviously, and then with some of the games, like with, Hor um, the, with the Horizon Zero Dawn sequel, where um, to get the PS5 version, you basically have to buy the deluxe version of it, and now they're kind of backtracked. So now, you, so now um, you can do that. But I know that they're going to start charging ten pounds to upgrade in their games. So I don't know. I'm just, and I think I'm going to be sitting and be controversial here, and because I'm, I'm like, I have to try to be as obje objective as I can and as honest as I can. I think sometimes because Sony are so big and on and high on this pedestal that they can kind of behave how they want and get away with it and then nobody pretty much questions some of the stuff that they do because obviously their consoles are selling the ps5 is selling huge numbers of all it's still very difficult to get so they're so so they're laughing that their consoles are in are, are still in demand and obviously and I, I mean they make you know like top quality games i mean you can't argue with that but i think sometimes some of their business practices are questionable and also what doesn't help is that I feel that some of these um, bigger YouTubers should be doing more to be caught to be calling out some of the bullshit when Sony do that wrong especially stuff like this because I know I, I, I know that the game's available in the UK and I'm not one and I know I think so in Europe and apparently in Canada so but in also in the States um, which, is, which has a bigger user base in Japan and I'm, I'm not sure that they're doing the trial of these particular games or doing trials in general so there's not going to be much talk about it but I've seen one or two videos but not really a lot but you know I had to make this um, this video rant about it because I'm as I said before I mean I'm not really I think it's very disappointing in the way that Sony do um, I've done this and to me I don't feel like enough people are, are going to be um, speaking up against this so I don't know I'm just not happy, I'm just happy with weird way that Sony, you know, are kind of, they're bit, sometimes, it's not just a this, but there's other business practices that are done with the PS5. It's, to me, it's ever since this new guy's kind of taken over, they've been very unconsumer friendly and they've had to keep backtracking. I mean, even with most of the um, um, Xbox, um, even with most of the Xbox games, most of them, most of the games are um, enhanced for the si Series S or Series X, like no extra charge and all they've got like 128 um, frame rate per second boost and with sony most of them most of their uh, key games they're not they're not, they haven't even boosted them so for example <coughs> um horizon zero dawn's finally kind of got a boost i mean fact god but none of the I, and i know that the uncharted trilogy recently is was a recent remaster anyway but it would have been nice if they, they could have patched it up and then made it run at six frames per second and then better textures and stuff and so forth and then same thing with Grand Turismo Sport which I know Grand Turismo 7 is coming out and they're two different games and I wish they had done that um, done that with involved games and there's other certain games that you would think that they're, that they're big games which could have done with a software push to run on the PS5 you know what I mean but they just, but they just haven't done it so I think that's why I said that I question some of the stuff they do so again as I said I mean 
I'm not sure if other, other people in, in, who maybe in the UK feel the same way about me about some of Sony's business practices with the PS5 and obviously with the Death Stranding and, and the Sackboy um, trial, the way they've done that. And then hopefully between now and the 28th, maybe Sony might listen and might change what they've done about this um, and then allow us, us to sit there and play for it. I mean, even if they chopped it from six hours to maybe two, I mean, that, or, I mean even that would be fair. I mean, because at least you would get a feel of the game. But, you know, I mean, they haven't kind of done that, so it's a bit disappointing. But, uh, yeah, if anyone's watching the video, I mean, let me know what you think about the subject matter and um, I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye for now.